I wonder if that gets you demonetized. I'm gonna be doing that at the beginning of every video, just just to see how how it affects you. Hi, welcome, and today's video is a bit of an announcement slash informational video. The past six years, I have been off and on about my content creation, and I finally decided, fuck it, I really love this, and I need to do it full time. So I'm gonna to work towards full time. This is the beginning of me really working hard to get to become a full-time content creator. And I'm going to be documenting here on YouTube everything that I do to get to that point and sharing my advice, my experiences with you guys. Now, in today's video, I'm going to break down my game plan for you guys so that way you guys can either copy it or use some information or ideas that I have for yourselves and also just for my own review to see started what my initial game plan was and see how it changes over time. So here's the game plan. I'm going to be on four different, or I should say five platforms. One of them doesn't really count as a social media platform. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get into it. But before I get into those platforms, I do want to um, explain something. I'm going to be explaining why I'm on that platform and my game plan for that platform before I continue on to the next one. Let's start off with Twitch. Twitch is my bread and butter because I love streaming. I love being on Twitch. I just love it as a platform. So that is going to be my main focus to grow. I want to grow my Twitch channel and I'll be using my other platforms to engage with my community and grow my Twitch channel. So I'm going to be streaming anywhere between three to four times a week and about three to four hours per stream. The reason I picked the schedule is because I need to be able to have time to create content for those other platforms that we'll be getting into and not burn myself out. Streaming and keeping a high energy attitude for upwards of eight hours is very tiring and it makes you very unmotivated to create other content, especially if you are working a nine to five job and in general have a life outside of content creation. So I obviously have that. So I need to make sure I condense the amount of time I'm on Twitch to where it's still enjoyable for me and the viewer, but I still have time to make other things. Now, what will I be streaming? I'll basically be streaming games that I like and that I enjoy because there's no point in streaming something that may be popular if you don't enjoy it. So the next platform obviously is YouTube. YouTube is really great for discoverability and really helps you grow your Twitch. A lot of successful streamers will be doing both Twitch and YouTube to help sustain their viewership, sustain their communities, and to not fade into you know, the void. So on YouTube, obviously I wanna make um, informational videos because this is what I watch on YouTube. I watch analytical videos. I watch videos on how to grow, grow yourself as a content creator, business videos, all that kind of stuff. So that's the same kind of content that I'll be creating here on my channel. Now I have a pretty decent upload schedule planned of four videos a week, a week, a month, <laughs> four videos a month, once a week, at the beginning of every month, I'll be making a video, analyze my analytics, analyzing analytics, reviewing my analytics, seeing where I was last month versus this month. Um, how, what worked, what didn't work, and then going into a plan for this current month. And then for week two and three, it's basically gonna be just whatever video advice video I wanna make or tutorial I wanna make, whether it be about making YouTube videos, streaming, TikTok, whatever it is um, that I wanna make that particular week. And then for the fourth week, it's gonna be a podcast. So that's, that's basically YouTube. YouTube is just to help reach out uh, and get people noticing me and my Twitch channel and my other social media, obviously. So this is how I'm, how I, this is how I feel like I'm going to be, I'm going to grow, right? I'm going to get noticed on YouTube and then everything else is going to grow. Now, Twitter and Discord, I'm putting into one category because it's basically the same thing for me. I'm going to be posting stream highlights, um, and then, you know, links to my videos and stuff like that. And then also trying to engage with my community out and other people outside of my streams so pretty simple just be on there you know for at least an hour or two a day make a few tweets post on discord talk to people there just keep keep engaging with people every day now my fourth platform is not particularly a tactic i would say i mean it can be used as a tactic and i will be using it as a tactic to grow myself but it's just more for fun. I really want to be on TikTok <laughs> because I enjoy making TikToks. I like watching TikToks. It's just more of a fun thing for me to do to keep me motivated rather than being like, I need to do this. I need to do this. It's just more like, hey, let's go make a TikTok because it's fun. And that really doesn't have an upload schedule. It's just more every once every couple of days. When it comes down to it, I should be engaging with people 
every single day. There should be a new piece of content out a few times a week, at least, right? You have your streams, your YouTube videos, Twitter, and then TikTok all combining together to be basically you're putting out a shit ton of content every week. Um, and then being able to sit down at the beginning of each month and just see my progress and sharing with you guys my progress, I feel like is really going to help me keep on track because I have that set every month. I got to look at how I'm doing, see where I'm failing, see what mistakes I'm making, fix those mistakes, see what's working, share what's working and move on. And then throughout the rest of the month, it's kind of keeping up with what I decided to do at the beginning of the month, right? At, at the end of the video, be like, okay, here's my game plan for this month and then follow through. And then of course I'll be posting it. So you guys can kind of keep me accountable, right? So there, there's, there's, that which i'm really really excited about i'm finally just kind of getting into what i want to do and i really just want to understand how social media works how these things work and meet people and communicate with people i just want to i want to sink my teeth into it so if you guys are excited for it make sure to follow me on all my social media uh keep in contact with me and if you guys are watching this video like hey i'm gonna start doing the same thing because i've been wanting to let me know how your progress is going so if you guys are going to ask me, hey, how do I get started? Just give me some information <laughs> before you do, disclaimer. Uh, I need to know a little bit more about you, what you, what kind of content you want to make, what's your schedule like, because there is no one-size-fits-all answer to that question. Very much dependent on you, and if you really need some advice, I need to know what you're working with. So that way I can give you my opinion on what I would do with that um, situation. So with that said, my name is Wolf. Welcome to the beginning. Let's get started, shall we? I have no intro. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, bye.